sodium potassium pump. There's a new kind of student brewing in West Texas, and they're not coming from straight off the farm either. The ongoing population shift in Texas from rural to metropolitan areas is also shifting the demographics of university agriculture programs. Nearly 85% of students in the Angelo State University Agriculture Department are from urban, not farming backgrounds. Today, the story pins a different chapter as most of the students' farm experience has come from 4-H and FFA activities. It changes how you're going to teach them and uh, where you start with your program. You just can't assume that everybody knows everything there is to know about, you know, farming and ranching. Up and down the stem, little round seeds. Everything is bigger in Texas, but as it turns out, bigger doesn't always mean better, at least when you're talking about university enrollment. A search for the reason will point you to ASU's Management Instruction and Research Center just on the outskirts of San Angelo, only minutes from campus. The center provides hands-on learning and research opportunities for ASU students interested in all facets of agriculture and animal science. Commonly known as the ASU Ranch, the 6,000-acre working ranch has an annual operating budget of about $120,000. The facility is home to hundreds of sheep, goats, and cattle that are used for classes in the ASU Department of Agriculture. A lot of colleges are reverting back to just learning straight out of the textbook and not getting able to get their hands dirty, getting hands-on work done. So that's definitely a flaw in the college system. Students translate what they learn in the classroom to out in the field. The center's animal operations also generate income that helps keep the ranch self-sufficient. The center is also home to white-tailed deer, quail, turkey, and javelina. Students conduct surveys and assist with a collection of harvest data that provide the foundation for wildlife management decisions on the ranch. There's a lot of hands-on things that, like, out here we get to touch things and play around and mess with things. And, like, in bigger schools, they're just kind of like, here's a book, read it. The newest addition to the center is the Food Safety and Product Development Lab. Each year, the Meat and Food Science Program purchases livestock from Concho Valley producers for instruction, research, and processing purposes. Many of the animals end up as products in the ASU meat market, which offers products to the public. The ranch not only brings in a different kind of student, but more of them. In 1997, when Dr. Ingdahl took over the agriculture department, the program had 150 to 200 students. Today, the number has more than doubled to around 450, including graduate students. Why? The short answer is jobs. While many industries are floundering during the current economic situation, agriculture remains bright. Students coming into agriculture from large communities are preparing for success. A recent report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture projects the agricultural, food, and renewable natural resource sections of the economy will generate more than 54,000 jobs each year while just under 30,000 students graduate from U.S. Colleges of Agriculture annually. Many of the students who leave ASU not only head to a farm or ranch of their own, but go to USDA, NRCS, or become an agricultural teacher for a school district. All jobs that bring with them high levels of job security. Times are changing, and I think you have to change accordingly. And, and unfortunately, um, if you are in an area where you don't have the opportunity for enough hands-on experience, uh, I think that hurts the, the student. For TFB News, Matt Felder, San Angelo.